Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our schedule previews for our way too early top 25 teams. And next up, we've got our team coming in at number 24, the Louisville Cardinals, who all things considered, despite the poor finish, really exceeded expectations in 2023. Year one under Jeff Brom, so many new pieces, new schemes, and yet the Cardinals go 10-4 and on the ACC runner-up, made the ACC championship, but did lose their final three games to Kentucky at the end of the regular season, to Florida State in the ACC title game, and then to USC in their bowl game. But regardless, a 10-win season in year one under Jeff Brom, conference runner-up, and got to say, they probably gave some of their fans a heart attack. I know they weren't fans of, of losing the final three games, but five of their 10 wins coming by one possession. So Louisville you know, was was so up and down. Very, very good at home, not so good on the road or neutral sites, but still, all things considered, a relatively successful 2023 season. They're hoping to build on that entering 2024. A 2024 season where Jeff Brom crushed the transfer portal. A lot of key new pieces again, but they're good. I mean, Tyler Shug coming in at quarterback. If he can stay healthy, going to be perfect in this Jeff Brom offense. You got Colin Lacey, Ja'Cory Brooks coming in as pass catchers on that offense. You got Penny Boone coming in from Toledo. Uh, you've got a very, very solid defense, one that should be uh, probably just as good, if not a little bit better, than what we saw last year from Louisville. This is a dangerous Cardinals team, guys, and an ACC that's adding a couple new pieces this year. You've got SMU coming in, you've got California, you've got Stanford coming in. An expanding conference, but one where Louisville, once again, will be contending towards the top of the standings. You take a look at the Cardinals' schedule. What are they going up against this season? I will say it's kind of broken into two halves for me. That first half of the season is really, really favorable. This is a, a schedule that lines up perfectly for Louisville to maybe start 6-1, and one, maybe 7-0. and oh. And again, we're not here to predict anything right now. Our predictions for the Cardinals and every other FBS team will be coming your way starting in June. But you take a look. Should be 2-0 and right, after the, uh, right before the bye week, their first bye week, I should say. Uh, and then you get Georgia Tech, first conference game there. They beat the Yellow Jackets 39-34 to last year in the season opener. Had to battle back, dig deep to win that game. It was, a, it was a tough one. One that Georgia Tech probably should have won, but Louisville battled back to win the game by five. They get the game at home off a week of rest. The Georgia Tech team that made a bowl game last year, won their bowl game over UCF, and is going to be even better in 2024 with Brent Key now at the helm. That Notre Dame game, to me, is the key. And, you know, because that, to me, that's going to show whether or not Louisville maybe starts 7-0 and we're talking maybe playoff for the Cardinals. Once again, the college football playoff expanded to 12 teams beginning of this year. So one loss isn't going to keep you out. Two losses might not even keep you out, depending on when you lose and who you lose to. That Notre Dame game in South Bend, though, going to be so, so difficult. The Cardinals torched Notre Dame last year, although the game was in Louisville. They beat them 33-20. to now the game's in South Bend. Notre Dame's defense going to be one of the best in the entire country. Riley Leonard now at the helm. We did a video over the Fighting Irish just a few weeks ago talking about how good and how dangerous this Notre Dame team can be in 2024. Going on the road is not going to be easy. And I will tell you this right now, if you're Louisville, uh, to me, this is not the key stretch to the season, but the games against Georgia Tech, Notre Dame, and SMU, those three games consecutively are going to test your defense. Georgia Tech's offense going to be very, very tough, really, really good. Notre Dame's offense is going to be very, very strong. And SMU, Rhett Lashley, the head coach, you know he's going to have a good offense. Preston Stone, back at quarterback. SMU, first year in the conference, could contend for an ACC title. Those three games, if your defense is not up to par, it, you could lose them easily. And you're lucky that you get both the, two of those three games at home. That's massive. So, again, I'm not predicting anything right now. I think if you're looking for a most likely loss there, it would come on the road against Notre Dame. Uh, they go on the road to Virginia after that, beat them only by seven last year, survived a scare against the Cavaliers late in the season, and they host Miami, who they also beat by seven. So, again, those first seven games, Louisville, you know, you're obviously hoping to go 7-0, no, no doubt about it, but 6-1 and one even would be massive. 6-1 and one going into those final five games. And those final five games of the season is where things get tough. Not necessarily because of the, the competition per se, but because four of those games are on the road. They've got to go to Boston College, to Clemson, to Stanford. If you actually look at that, that's three consecutive road games. Yeah, they've got the bye week in there to break things up, but that's three consecutive road games 
for the Cardinals. You know, you don't really see that very often. And, and you know, the schedule makers are going to go, it's not three consecutive. They get that week off in there. But you're telling me that, that Louisville is not going to play in front of their home fans for over a month. They'll play Miami on October 19th and will not play at home in front of their fans again until November 23rd. That's absurd. That's crazy. Kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. But Boston College showed a lot of uh, signs of promise towards the end of last year. Louisville torched them by 28, 56-28 last year, but now new head coach in Bill O'Brien. Got a mobile quarterback in Thomas Castellanos, assuming they keep him, assuming they, that's who Bill O'Brien wants to use, uh, or if Castellanos sticks around as well, players could transfer out. But at the time of this video, uh, nothing new on that front. Boston College on the road, not going to be easy. Clemson and Death Valley, not going to be easy, despite the disappointment we've seen from Clemson over the last few years. Always a tough out, especially at home. By week, then they have to go on a long road trip out west to take on a Stanford team that showed signs of promise last year under Troy Taylor. Wasn't the first uh, great first year. No one expects it to be. Should be better in year two. They host Pittsburgh, who torched Louisville last year, beat them 38-21. to Keep in mind, Louisville was only a one-loss team entering their season finale against Kentucky. That lone loss was to Pittsburgh. If Louisville does not lose to Pittsburgh, they're undefeated going into their season finale, and we're talking about the Cardinals maybe being a college football playoff team at, at that point in time. Seriously, that's what we're talking about. So that Pittsburgh game kind of screws some stuff up. Louisville offense was atrocious. The Pittsburgh defense came to life in that game despite an abysmal season uh, under Pat Narduzzi. But Pittsburgh at home on senior day going to be huge. And then Kentucky... Always, lately at least, a relatively close game between the Wildcats and the Cardinals. Uh, they lost to Kentucky 38-31 to at home last year. That was a heartbreaker. Really big heartbreaker for the Cardinals. Looked like they were going to win that game. Had multiple opportunities, I should say, to put that game away. Were unable to. Choked it away in the fourth quarter to lose by seven to their bitter in-state rivals. But again, that's four of your final five games on the road. That's why it's so important for Louisville to do well in their first seven games. 7-0, seven and oh, phenomenal. 6-1, and one, really, really good. 5-2, and two, probably not where you want to be, but not terrible. You, you have to ask yourself, if you're a Louisville fan, what are the expectations this year? Uh, in, in a wide-open ACC, are you expecting to win the conference, to make the college football playoff? Would you be thrilled with an 8-9? Maybe another 10-win regular season, potentially flirting with a New Year's Six Bowl berth. What are the expectations at Louisville this year? Because, again, the ACC is wide open. Florida State loses so much from the team that went undefeated but yet still missed out in the playoff. Clemson has the talent, has the coaching staff to get back to the top, but, again, has struggled over the last few years in terms of their expectations. Duke's got a brand-new coach. Uh, Georgia Tech. Don't really see them as an elite ACC title contender, but you never know. Uh, there's so many teams in the conference, guys, that uh, could challenge for a top spot, Louisville being one of them. But as of right now, I don't know if you've got one clear front runner uh, in terms of who's going to be. You could say Florida State, but again, they're going to be a completely different team in 2024. So the opportunity is there for the Cardinals, but if they want to achieve those goals, they want to be legitimate contenders. They've got to get a really strong start in those first seven games because those final five are absolutely brutal. Again, not necessarily because of the teams that they're playing, but because that they're hardly playing at home. As we know in college football, home field advantage is very, very, very important. And playing that many road games in a very short amount of time makes it even worse. So, guys, there you go. Louisville Cardinals coming at number 24 in our way too early top 25. That is our schedule preview for them. Our prediction for them will come out here in just a couple of months. A couple of months. We're not too far away from the start of prediction season. So, make sure you keep your eye on that. But until then, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. Check out everything down in the description below, including everything on our website, thegridironexpert.com. Exclusive content on there to help you get through this offseason and become a member of our GE Nation. And once again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on the Gridiron Expert.